Well, as you know by now, Donald Trump was acquitted. Now, um, I wasn't necessarily in a rush to talk about this. I think that it's not a surprise to anyone who is paying attention since the beginning of this entire process. This was pretty much a foregone conclusion. Having said that, though, I do still think that the process itself was important. Even if we kind of know what the outcome will be, it is still important to go through the motions. I, I think that there needs to be at least some level of accountability, even if it doesn't necessarily amount to much. But part of the reason I think why elites in this country, politicians in this country, have become so terrible isn't just because of capitalism and money in politics. It's because they know that regardless of what they do, how egregious and criminal, quite frankly, their actions are, they will never be held accountable. George W. Bush should be in prison right now for war crimes, but Obama's administration chose to move forward. And we now know it's because Obama was also going to be committing war crimes. Uh, rich people in this country, Wall Street executives, they get to rig the economy, crash the economy in their favor, bribe politicians, and nothing happens. It's just the entire system itself is rigged at every single level, basically. How many times have we seen police officers murder unarmed black Americans and get away scot-free? Zero consequences. The system itself is deeply unjust. So even if I could have predicted that Donald Trump would have been acquitted because, like all elites, he's not going to face any consequences for his actions, literally inciting an insurrection, it's still important to try, right? Once you've given up and you stop trying to hold elites accountable, then, you know, it just, the situation gets even worse. There has to be at least some minimal level of fear that if they do something that is illegal or violent, there will be consequences. And for Donald Trump in this instance, it's just that, you know, he gets to live with the fact that he's the only president who was impeached twice. And even though he wasn't convicted both times, I still think that it's important. Now, in terms of Democrats presenting their case, I think that they absolutely were competent. They did a good job. Um, I do disagree with their refusal to call witnesses. I think that's still, that, that would have not necessarily made a difference, but been important for the American people to see. Uh, but like when you juxtapose their performance and their case with the case presented by Donald Trump's lawyers, especially uh, Bruce Castor Jr., it's comical. Like to be that incompetent, to be that moronic and still technically win, it, it just, our system, we're making a mockery of it, right? So this entire process uh, essentially was a sham because Republicans regardless of what evidence they saw, were not willing to change their mind. The only one who arguably did change his mind genuinely was Bill Cassidy, but that doesn't make him a hero. The Republicans who voted to convict Donald Trump, Mitt Romney, Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, and others, that doesn't make them heroes. You're just doing the bare minimum. And now we get to see the insufferable elites in media prop up these Republicans as if they're good people because they did the very, very bare minimum. And sure, they're better than ghouls like Lindsey Graham who's a Trump bootlicker. They're better than ghouls like Mitch McConnell, who did not vote to convict Donald Trump, but then went on to argue that um, basically what he did was illegal. He just doesn't think that you can impeach a president who's no longer in office. I mean, look, <laughs> our system is corrupt. It's rigged. Elites get away with everything. This shouldn't surprise everyone, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we as individuals stop trying to hold them accountable, right? Until we can get a better system in place, reform the system that we have, then that's that's all that we can do, right? Once we stop trying, that's a victory for elites. Having said all of that, though, it is now time for Democrats to sharply shift gears. I think that this was necessary. I don't necessarily know that this should have occupied like 100% of their time. Impeachment was necessary. I'm glad that they're finally trying to hold others accountable. Who break the law but now we have to get back to work there is a pandemic going on americans are losing their livelihoods they are still dying cases are decreasing for the first time in a while we are at less than a hundred thousand new cases having said that though there's a lot of work to be done and i think we are owed the two thousand dollar checks that was promised to us now look we already know that that was a lie joe biden lied 
and uh, now it's supposedly going to be $1,400 checks. Whatever amount you're going to give us at this point, get it out the door. People are suffering. And now there's no excuse. It is time for you to deliver to the American people, right? Impeachment was necessary. Impeachment was important. But now you have to shift gears. There still may be the potential for Donald Trump to be held accountable. The New York uh, district attorney is investigating him. There's, you know, ongoing investigations throughout the country still taking place. But now at the congressional level, nationally speaking, now we need Democrats to all collectively shift their focus to delivering for the American people. And I'm not saying that because I want Trump to get away with the crimes that he did. I want, you know, the focus to shift so that way we kind of sweep what he did under the rug. That's not what I'm saying. But what you have to demonstrate now to the American people is that you are going to fight for them. That they didn't elect you for nothing. That there's value in having Democrats in office over Republicans. Because if you do not demonstrate that value, then in two years during the midterms, you're going to get wiped out. And we're going to have a divided government again where the prospect of doing anything is diminished. Unless we're talking about like terrible reforms of cutting Social Security and doing some type of compromise with Republicans even further. It's time to deliver. So it should be $2,000 checks, but if you're going to send out $1,400 checks, do it. Don't wait till March. Send out the checks. Raise the minimum wage. Actually put up a fight. That's what Democrats have to do now. That's what we need from Democrats right now. And that's all I'll say about this. I think that this, again, not surprising. The outcome was kind of predetermined from the beginning. Um, but now it's time for Democrats to get to work. Trump is out of the way. There's no longer any excuses, right? You have a couple of members in your party, Kirsten Sinema, Joe Manchin, who are obstacles to progress. Having said that, though, they're not gigantic obstacles. They can be, uh, I think, pressured. And it really, there's going to need to be leadership here. I'm going to need to see members of the squad actually speak out and hold Democrats accountable even more so than they have been. Actually fight for real change and not incremental change because with how bad of a situation we are in, economically, socially, like to get ourselves out of this ditch, we can't just dig incrementally. We need substantial reforms. We need a forklift to get us out of this ditch, to pick us up, carry us out. So what we need now is a fighting chance. And Democrats have to absolutely direct all of their energy towards saving the country. Now, I know that Joe Biden isn't up to the challenge, but that's where other progressive members of Congress have to continuously apply pressure. Otherwise, he isn't going to do anything. He's just going to do the bare minimum to get by. So I need Democrats to actually fight now. And I don't want to make this video about Democrats because this is a video about Donald Trump getting away with, you know, inciting in its direction, which is egregious and disgusting. But there's so much going on right now. Uh, accountability is one of many things that is necessary in this country. And there will be no accountability, at least for now, with regard to Donald Trump. He got away with that. So all we can do now, going forward, is try to help the American people. And Democrats need to do that. Activists at the grassroots level, organizations need to apply pressure. Because if they don't feel continuous pressure, then they're not going to act. They're not just going to, on their own goodwill, on their own volition, choose to do the right thing unless we pressure them constantly. So that's all I'll say. Uh, I think that we all expected this outcome. Um, not surprising at all. Nonetheless, I think that we need to see a renewed focus on relief. And thankfully, all of the headlines today are showing that Democrats want to do that. That's a great sign. Let's actually deliver and not make the American people wait until March to get crucial survival checks that they need right now. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad, very sad. I'm unsubscribing.